Hi there, this is Ira Weinstein from Wayne House Research. Recently, we had a chance to test BlueJeans Huddle, a software application that turns standard off-the-shelf PC hardware into a BlueJeans-powered group video conferencing system for small meeting rooms. At Wayne House Research, we refer to these types of solutions as service attached offerings, meaning that the solution works only while connected to its company's cloud service. The first part of a BlueJeans Huddle deployment is the Huddle software, which can be downloaded from the BlueJeans website. You will also need a software license, which is available directly from BlueJeans or from BlueJeans partners for a cost of $599 per room per year. The second part is the compute platform that will host the Huddle software. The standard setup includes an Intel Nook PC running Windows 10, an Apple iPad or iPad mini which access the Huddle user interface, a Revo Labs FLX UC500 USB conference phone, and a Logitech C930E webcam. Users can buy these items on their own or purchase a complete BlueJeans Huddle kit from BlueJeans Partners for $1,899. In our case, we had all of these hardware items in our lab already. Once we downloaded the software, it took us only a few minutes to complete our Huddle installation. The first thing we noticed is that the Huddle UI running on the iPad provides a native BlueJeans look and feel. As frequent BlueJeans users, we felt right at home with this interface. There are several ways to join BlueJeans meetings with Huddle. The first option is to schedule a BlueJeans meeting and invite the Huddle room. Connecting to a meeting requires only pressing the Join button for each calendar entry. Huddle also allows mobile users to launch calls from their personal calendar directly on Huddle with a single button pressed. And finally, users can enter a BlueJeans meeting ID and optional passcode on the Huddle UI's main page and press the Join button. We tested all of these meeting join methods and everything worked as expected. But given the option, I choose to launch my calls from my mobile device. This approach is both millennial-friendly and user-centric versus room-centric or meeting-centric. We found the iPad UI to be intuitive and quite easy to use. However, as a meeting host, we would have liked the ability to mute or disconnect other participants and even end the meeting. Fortunately, these functions are available to hosts and moderators on the BlueJeans PC app and web UI. BlueJeans Huddle supports wireless content sharing both during a call and while not in a call. But like most software-based solutions, Huddle does not support wired content sharing. To share content, a user simply joins the meeting as a content-only participant by browsing to a URL displayed on the main display. This automatically launches either the BlueJeans app or the BlueJeans web client and lets the user choose which content to share. We tested this from both Windows and Mac PCs and found it worked quite well. Throughout our testing, the BlueJeans Huddle solution performed like a champ. From a 10,000-foot view, Huddle has really one main purpose, to make it quick and easy to join BlueJeans calls from meeting rooms. Huddle absolutely excels in this area, offering one button join for scheduled meetings and a quick workflow to join ad hoc sessions. We conducted dozens of calls with Huddle, and in each case, the video and audio experience was quite strong. This is a testament to both the Huddle software and the recommended third-party AV hardware. We also tested wireless content sharing with Huddle with great results. And finally, at a cost of only $599 per room per year, the Huddle software license is within reach of almost any organization. Overall, the BlueJeans Huddle solution makes good on its promise of extending the BlueJeans video conferencing experience that we know and trust into any meeting room. This is Ira Weinstein. Thank you very much for your time.